this video, I'm going to show you how to slice a data set. And so we're going to work really simply with um, just this DF here. It's just two columns with just numbers in it. And I'm going to show you how to slice it. So we can do DF and then in brackets is going to be our slicing notation. And so if we just do one, it's going to give us the first column here. And so if you're ever just trying to get the column, you can always just do the number that it is. So if we do DF2, it's going to give us the second column here. Now, if we wanted both one and two, we can do DF1 through two. And it, you can see it really just printed out DF, but if there was more columns over here, we wouldn't get all those additional columns. But now what if we want this first row here? So instead, of doing just DF1, we're going to do DF1 comma. So this is telling us that we want the row and not the column. And so when I press enter, you can see that now it's giving me the index number, which is one, and then two and three with the column names up here. And if I did DF, and let's just say we want the second and third row, we can put a comma after that, and you can see it's printing out the second and third row here. Now, what I can do is actually set this to a new variable. So I'm going to say this is df23, and I'm just going to do my assignment right here, and we're going to put in the above. So df, and when I run that, it's not going to give me anything printed out, but it is going to generate something over here. And when I open this up, you can see that it's just rows two and three from the previous data frame. So that is how you can really simply slice using slicing notation.